Welcome back, everybody. This is the prerequisites we are getting ready to embark on. Now, I do want to give you guys a friendly reminder. If you have something to write these notes down on, please go grab a pen and paper. Pause right now, okay? It's gonna be very important that you guys take an inventory of these prerequisites that you're gonna need. Um, this, guys, is the pillars of telesales, okay? You really have uh, three pillars of telesales, right? You have your CRM, you have a quoting tool, and then you need a way to write business, okay? The application process and things of that nature. So without further ado, it wouldn't be the easiest if I kept talking about it. So let's get into it. Let's talk a minute about dialers. The importance of having a phone number dedicated to your business. Okay. So you have a couple options here. Ring Central is good to an extent. You get a fax number with Ring Central. Okay. We tried it out. The customer service is just, it really wasn't there. It's a nightmare to cancel and you got to catch them on a good day when they're running their promotions and specials. Um, five, nine has predictive dialing capabilities. Um, you know, they are compliant as far as TCPA compliant with their integrations and stuff like that. Um, you can also use your cell phone for the time being, but I want you guys to separate as much as your business from your personal as possible right and that just goes with finances that goes with your phone numbers that goes with your emails just anything that you can really think of in business um, what we use is dial pad you know my wife and I um, we just 30 bucks a month you know grab a separate number anytime that phone rings nine times out of ten it's gonna be an interested prospect um, the last option that you're gonna see is maybe your IMO has a CRM or you know some way to track uh, phone numbers recorded phone calls and things like that but just keep in mind um, if they're not using your phone number to do these things then that's when it becomes you know a little bit tricky when uh, giving your phone number out to clients to follow up with your book of business you know etc etc so I give dialpad five stars you know really good customer service can't really think of any cons uh, with dialpad um, they're very reputable company as well and so I'm going to put all these links in a resources sheet as well so that you guys can check them out and make sure that you're uh, grabbing a phone number dedicated specifically to your business. Um, so what happens when you grab that phone number and you need to tie it to a CRM or, you know, any way to track your business activities, right? So this is what we call a customer relations management system, a CRM. Um, I do want to let you know that there's a way where you can be an independent agent, but still operate kind of under captivity. So I'll talk to you about that in a second here, but really I want to focus on what you need to be successful with these final expense, Facebook leads, um, or just life insurance leads, right? You got to think big, you got to think bigger than final expense. You know, you're separating yourself from lead vendors as a whole, and you're able to take these skills with you wherever in life i mean it's just isn't just for final expense okay so we'll get into that a little bit later when we talk about targeting and ad set budgets as well but the there's quite a few different crms right so you have like zoho that's kind of geared towards real estate you know you can use the spreadsheet you know facebook has a crm that you can use to track clients okay some of these quoters that we're going to go over they actually have a crm to track clients one of the biggest gaps in information and education and independent agents that I work with is they don't know what they don't know, okay? Especially when it comes to telesales, right? Your CRM is gonna be the most important part of managing your customer contact attempts. There is no other system out there, including one that ties to your carrier contracts, your carrier approvals, policy submissions, stuff like that is nothing in comparison to a customer relations management when you're making dials, sending out automations, you know, uh, tracking where a lead is in the pipeline. So you need to find a CRM that's gonna be the best for you. You're able to export and import the data into that CRM and possibly even 
take advantage of some algorithms and some automations on the back end in that CRM, okay? So if I wasn't with the IMO I'm with that provides that technology for free, Smart Office would be the number one choice for me. I'm not 100% sure on the cost of Smart Office, but I can tell you that they tie directly in um, with the carrier side, right? So it's powered by eBix. eBix 24 has a free version as well, I believe. Smart Office, hands down, you know, is the best way to manage your book of business and stay independent, right? So what about your IMO? Maybe they have a CRM for you, right? Maybe your upline has you log into a CRM and they give you the illusion that it's your book of business. But what about when it's time to, to leave, right? What about when it's time to expand your agency into another playing field? What if you can't export that data? What if you can't export your leads names and phone numbers and emails out of their system into your own system? Not to like cause fear, panic, anxiety, and fret, but at the same time, you know, if we can nip this in the bud when you get started, I need you to grab a CRM, even if it's just tracking on a simple spreadsheet for now, you need to be able to track your book of business and even color code that spreadsheet so you know where they're at in your pipeline. Okay, guys, you can use Google Sheets, you can use a ton of CRMs out there. Okay, the, C the provider that I'm with, the IMO I'm with right now, they allow you to export and import that data. We'll touch on that a little bit later on in the call. Um, Salesforce, you know, you have a ton of options out there, guys. So that's pretty much it for the dialers and the CRMs, but we still have a few other prerequisites. So I will see you in the next chapter.